I'm gonna show you how to learn Python with ChatGPT. We're gonna build out all the code that I have here available in Google Colab. I'm gonna show you how to even ask ChatGPT for some openly available data so we can get the project rolling. The process is pretty simple. All we're gonna do is ask the chat to give us code and we're gonna provide some just answers so that it knows what we want. And if you uh, just hang out for a couple of minutes, we're going to go through all the steps needed to output all the code that I showed you. Also, check out the link in the description where I have a full free chat GPT course. Just check below. So in order to get some data from chat GPT, we're going to give it a prompt like this. We're going to ask it specifically to give us data. We're going to describe what data we're looking for. And then we're going to ask it to give us this information, format it in a table so that the information is neat and clean. And we're going to see here is a description of an uh, overview of what we wanted and then it's going to begin to output a table and what we can do with this is actually take this and copy and paste this into excel what we can also do here is we can use this as the start of a project where we move into saying hey let's take this data and then put this in a pandas data frame and then use it as a python data science project which is also what we'll do here at the end when it is printed everything out now we're going to ask it to give us some Python code at this point with this prompt here. We're going to say, hey, we're going to want a chart and a map. And then we're going to say, hey, can you give me the Python code? And it's going to then proceed to give us this code, which you're going to test in here in just a second in uh, Google Colab. But you see it is taking all the data that it gave us and then it is going to print out all of the numbers. Now, if this does stall out at any point in time, you can just say, hold up. Let me uh, run this again, and you can say like, hey, you didn't finish the code, and, and you can just chat with it. You say, hey, you, you didn't finish the code, you, you didn't give me all the data, I want you to give me all the data, please do that, and then it'll, it'll restate and it'll reprovide all the information. So uh, in chat GPT, whenever it's pumping out long form text, sometimes it does stall out. Like uh, you see right here, it went all the way down to Kentucky, and then it just sort of stopped. Um, but here, it's pulling all that and this just has this uh, because it has access to all of this this gigantic copy of the internet and that's why it can pull this information for us and what I'm doing here is I just said hey you know can you provide the code that you left out because it did stall out here uh, and sometimes it'll go back around to give uh, the whole thing and print it all out again which will take a little bit extra time but what you can do is again say can you give me only the code that you left out and that will really clarify things for the chat. So I'm changing the prompt a little bit at this point because it went and repeated it, stalled out at the same point. And so I said, hey, can you provide the code you left out? Only provide the pieces that you didn't provide. No need to start over. I will have to ask it to give me the uh, bit right here, the solar. Uh, and it looks like it only like started halfway down the line. So we, we will run into this again. Um, but eventually it will output this. Now, if you want something that's better for long form text, I'm actually gonna to go to OpenAI Playground and I'm going to run the same prompt that I had before through it, because it's a little bit better at long form text generation. We're gonna see if that will output a better solution for us, because if this keeps stalling out, it could be a problem. And we're gonna run this through here and we'll see if this outputs uh, what, we're, what we're looking for. And we've got some of it. And then this is giving us uh, information as if this was a CSV that we already had. And we don't already have a CSV, but we can work with, um, we, what we can do is we just erase this, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Or we could go and uh, just reprompt this. So we'll see if this will do that. We can kind of make a combo as well once we get everything from chat GPT. So I ended up having to ask you for just the top 10 states and then I didn't do the map just yet. I just wanted to kind of leave that out of it. But what I did is I went and pasted the code that it gave me over into Google Colab. And what I got here was a chart, a really simple bar plot of just the total renewables. And then from here, what I can do is I'm just going to feed uh, this back in and I'm going to say, based off of this, can you give me uh, the top states that are using wind and the top states for geothermal? And then can you label everything? And I'm going to see how it does with creating those charts right there. Let's prompt it like this and we'll see what we get. And here's the code that it gave me and it did output exactly what I asked it to. But the one thing was is that there wasn't a lot of geothermal. So I'm going to try to ask it if it can do... Uh, solar or if it could just give me 
a, a some other type of chart that would show the distribution of every individual state and I'm just gonna ask it for a couple more options I'm gonna ask it for some chart codes for solar I'm gonna ask it for specific things here it also gave me some code for a scatter plot as well and this isn't a great visualization because there's not a lot to work with here for specifically solar what I did here was just change the same code over and then just change the labels to say hydroelectric which is one really cool well we we can uh, work with um, this data and just kind of modify it quickly. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the chat how to make these a little bit bigger and uh, see if we can just make, modify the aesthetics of the chart overall. All right, so we got some new code here for a dark style that works with the size. And we just ran that and we do have a better looking theme, labels, and then overall we have our um, just everything. It looks great. So this is a cool way to just uh, start learning some Python and get some data and, and you're doing it all with ChatGPT.